Zachariah, your help would be indispensable once more. I'm listening. First, I want to thank you for helping me, my mother, and all the mutants. I don't really feel like I helped your mother, but if you say so... Sometimes you have to look beyond appearances. I miss her a lot, but at least she did not suffer thanks to you. But let's get back to what I wanted to talk about with you. I managed to get in touch with a man who can provide us with military equipment. And we are going to need it because we have to be able to defend ourselves. But that man will never do business with the mutant. That is why I need you to negotiate in my place. If you wanted to look like a merchant from Noctis and go to the meeting point with me, I'm sure that he would agree to sell you the surplus we need so much. That doesn't sound too complicated. I guess I can do it. Thank you. We will never forget what you did for us, Zack. Come join me when you find a merchant outfit, and we will go to the meeting point together. It is below a shadow path. I will show it to Amelia. The most exotic good... How'd you set up the exchange with that Aurora Quartermaster if he was a complete stranger? Some mutants aspire for freedom everywhere, Aurora included. When I learned that the Quartermaster was looking to dispose of stocks of merchandise, I sent messengers. Messengers? Mutant messengers? And he still took the messages seriously? No. I paid humans, noble-looking ones, too. Plus, we have a few sympathizers over there. Some of which are merchants who are always more than helpful, for a price. I thought you didn't want Dan Dolo in the loop. Indeed, I had to pay them. A lot. Quite a pickle. Exchanging weapons with Aurora when half the people in this world are from abundance. Goodness, what if... No, we wouldn't get caught. I hope you can all stay discreet. I'm looking at you, Amelia. Because then our meeting would end rather... I know that Aurora tolerates alliance. Rumor has it that they even considered a lie, but Abundance, they'd rather go to war. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said it. If there's any corporation you want to be heard talking about, just talk about Alliance. Avoid the others. Don't want to start anything. Hey, Zach. Count on me if you need some help during the transaction. I've got real-life experience, after all. Phobos, if Dandolo finds out you're plotting behind his back... He's my ally, Nisha, not my mother which means I don't have to tell him what I'm doing at every hour. I think that our negotiator is already there. He must be waiting for us below the shadow path. Oh boy, I can't wait to see you dressed in all merchant duds while doing some form of improvised acting. It's gonna be terrible. All aspects terrible. Zero out of ten, terrible. Why didn't you ask a real merchant, Phobos? You know what merchants are like. They will likely get upset when they realize I'm outsourcing equipment from another source. They revel in their monopoly. They can set whatever prices they want. Well, ain't that the definition of merchant friendship, eh? Do they really help, even though they rip you off? Loyal customers produce loyal sellers. It's mutually beneficial. They're merchants, after all.
Hi, I'm Zachariah. Are you Sincerity? Yes. Your message mentioned that you were a merchant and that you may be interested in some merchandise. I have some overstock that I'm willing to sell, but I want to be sure that this merchandise won't end up in enemy hands. Please understand that the safety of our corporation depends on it, and I don't want any of my superiors to learn about this type of transaction. I hear where you're coming from. Don't worry, though. The stocks won't be resold together. I'll spread them out here and there so no one will be able to track the sales back to you. Obviously, if the stock's disseminated, your enemies will have a harder time mounting a strong enough offense to harm you. Unfortunately, do you have a wide enough network to disseminate the merchandise afterwards? It's true that that's a pretty good solution. Very well, then. I think that we can do business. <laughs> Someday, I will kill that madman. Who is this mutant? Why did he kill the merchant? Cain. He refused any type of relationship with humans. And I guess that is his way of showing me that he disagrees with my trying to do business with them. But he failed the negotiation I had been working on for months without even realizing that we need these weapons. Anyway, I guess I need to find another way to stock up. So sorry, Phobos. Don't be. Had I known that Cain would intervene, I would have never arranged our meeting there. Cain, what a guy. Looks like he wouldn't hurt a fly. Instead, he'd kill hundreds. He hates humans, hates their guts, and he won't stop until he dies. And unfortunately, he has a lot of followers. What did... I don't understand. We had to buy something, right? So then why did that big mutant kill our trading partner? Did the mutant work for Abundance too? No, Scott. The mutant doesn't work for Abundance. He killed the man from his own hate, and it left us unable to finish the exchange. Uh-huh, I see. How sudden. What a twist. Such a waste. All that time spent for that exchange to turn into... nothing. If I find out who told Kane about the meeting, I'd show him what makes me different from scum. Take it easy, big guy. With all these intercorporation wars, finding weapons won't be too difficult. I could ask around for you. Why, thank you, Andrew. We were lucky Kane didn't attack you too, Phobos. He obviously doesn't like you. You're his natural competition for chief. I say bring him on. That brute doesn't scare me. <laughs> <laughs> 